Welcome to Facilitate. We want to introduce Smart Polymer Platform for Advanced Cell and Tissue Culture Applications. This video is about growing 3D spheroids on ultra-low adhesion plates, which enables the creation of more relevant cellular structures and facilitates studies on cell behavior and drug responses. 3D cell culture models have become increasingly popular. 3D models allow physical cell-cell and cell-extracellular matrix communication in every dimension. Growing cell cultures as 3D spheroids on ultra-low adhesion plates is essential because it mimics the natural cellular microenvironment more accurately, promoting cell-cell interactions and nutrient diffusion, which are crucial for cell behavior and drug response studies. The low adhesion surface prevents cell attachment, encouraging the formation of compact and biologically relevant spheroids that better resemble in vivo tissue structures. These ultra-low adhesion plates are ready to use, which means that no additional step is needed to prepare them for cell cultivation. You can adjust the size and the density of spheroids by changing the cell seeding number. In this experiment, we seeded 750 cells per well, and after 24 hours a spheroid was formed. After seeding 6,000 cells per well also a spheroid was formed, but it was bigger compared to the well which was seeded with 750 cells. Further, with these low adhesion plates you can also refine your spheroid model similar to in vivo conditions. You can use co-culture models. In this example, we cultured together Huvix cells in red and osteoclast in green. As you can see, one spheroid is formed containing both cell types, and this is one important thing if you want to recapitulate the cellular heterogeneity, which was found in solid tumors. Spheroid plates have a high potential for standardization, but they need to meet several requirements. They need to be animal-free, they need to provide the users with the freedom to operate in different formats such as 96 well plate, chips, microfluidic devices or bioreactors, they need to be time-saving, they need to be high-throughput compatible, and they should work reliably with relevant cell lines. And most importantly they need to meet three core requirements, a rapid formation of spheroids, the spheroids should be round and reproducible, and the method or the system should be reliable and robust. Thesi core requirements, the quality and the performance of the plates depend on the plate manufacturer. In this movie you can see how primary astrocytes form a perfectly round, shaped sphere within 22 hours. This makes it possible to start further experiments very early after cell seeding. It saves time and this is particularly important when results are urgently needed. Further, these ultra-low attachment plates are compatible with a broad range of cell types such as primary cells and stem cells and allow a reliable culture with challenging cell lines. Other ultra-low attachment plates generate spheroids without a uniform morphology which can impact the readout of your assay. Here you can see the biofloat plates and in the biofloat plate spheroids have a perfectly round morphology. Spheroids formed also in these three other benchmark products, but they show small deposits, irregular shape or satellite aggregates. So our biofloat plates outperform competitor plates in spheroid formation. Here we quantified the data, and we measured the circularity of the spheroids, which is a marker for the roundness of the spheroids. The value 1 describes a perfect circle. And spheroids in the biofloat plates showed the highest circularity in comparison to benchmark product 1 and benchmark 2 which showed a lower circularity. Furthermore, in the biofloat plates only one spheroid per well was formed. The number of spheroids per well, as well as their morphology, have a significant impact on the readout. A higher number of spheroids per well or an irregular morphology can lead to inconsistent results which impact the reproducibility of your assay. Another important factor for a reliable 3D system is the formation of viable spheroids, particularly in the field of toxicological studies. In this assay we cultured a human astrocyte cell line, and we checked the viability by measuring the ATP level in the supernatant. You can see that the spheroids in the biofloat plate are highly viable after three days of culture and after six days of culture. In comparison, spheroids in benchmark 1 and benchmark 2 showed a lower viability. We also stained the spheroids. Here on the right you can see spheroids stained with calcium in green, as marker for live cells and PI in red, as marker for dead cells. And you can see in the biofloat plates highly viable spheroids even after 9 days of cultivation, 
while almost only dead cells are present in spheroids generated in Benchmark 1 and Benchmark 2. It could happen that cells in an ultra-low attachment plate aggregate, but do not form a real 3D structure. For example, here in this Benchmark product. On the contrary in the biofloat plate spheroids are more three-dimensional and show a highly regular shape. Some cell lines need a high portion of the extracellular matrix to aggregate into spheroids because this leads to an upregulation of cadherence which leads to denser cell-cell contacts. However, after adding only 2.5% of matrigel you can see that in the biofloat plates the cells from a highly regular 3D aggregate. In the beginning I mentioned that a standard spheroid method needs to be flexibly usable by the customers. With our second product Biofloat Flex Coating Solution, it is possible to passivate different surfaces within seconds. In this experiment we coated a 96 well plate with Biofloat Flex for 1 second, 60 seconds, and up to 300 seconds. Afterwards we seeded the cells into the wells, and you can see that after 300 seconds of coating of the surface the cells are able to form a spheroid. But also after one second of coating the surface, the cells are still able to form a nice round-shaped spheroid. The Biofloat Flex coating solution can be used for several surfaces such as glass and plastic surfaces. In this experiment we checked the protein absorption of different surfaces. Here in blue, these are non-coated surfaces and you can see that the proteins are able to attach to these surfaces. After treatment with Biofloat Flex coating solution, in green, protein absorption decreases, and on the majority of the surfaces no protein absorption was visible. Therefore Biofloat Flex Coating Solution can be used for coating multi-well plates, biochips, microfluidic devices or bioreactors. It's easy and time-saving. Biofloat Flex is a robust coating, it shows mechanical stability and scratch resistance. Here in this graph, you can see the stability over media exchange. These are our biofloat plates and in blue a benchmark product. We changed the media several times, up to 12 times. What you can see is that after several washing steps in the biofloat plates it's still possible to generate 100% of spheroids. On the contrary benchmark product 1 was only able to form spheroids up to 80%. We also checked the scratch resistance, so we treated the surface very harshly, and you can see that after surface treatment of our biofloat product the cells are still able to form nice spheroids. In the benchmark product 1 it was not possible, so our biofloat flex coated plates are more robust than benchmark 1, and they are extremely scratch resistant. The biofloat plates are also useful for analyzing drug side effects. For example drug induced liver injury, which I already mentioned in the beginning, is a major source for high attrition rates during clinical studies. Biofloat makes it possible to form spheroids from primary cell types that are difficult to cultivate. So here you can see that primary hepatocytes form a round-shaped spheroid in the biofloat plate after 9 days of culture, while spheroids in the benchmark products show an irregular shape and cell satellites so, the biofloat system make it possible to form spheroids with difficult primary cells. We also measured the activity of cytochrome P450 enzymes because these enzymes are necessary for the metabolism of drugs. Knowledge on drugs that are metabolized by these enzymes or drugs that inhibit these enzymes can help to minimize the possibility of side effects. Being a substrate of such enzymes can be positively associated with clinical incidence of drug-induced liver injury. And what you can see is that in our plates the cells express these enzymes, here in blue, without the need to add an inducer cocktail. If we add an inducer cocktail the expression of the enzymes increases in the biofloat product but also in the benchmark products. All spheroids demonstrate a similar robust basal enzyme activity. We at FA Cellitate provide low adhesion plates for spheroid cultures. We provide three different products. The first is a pre-coated ready-to-use 96 well plate. The second is a pre-coated ready-to-use 384 well plate. And the Biofloat Flex Coating Solution which is an inert coating and is widely applicable to coat biochips, microfluidic devices, and bioreactors. Those products are animal-free and allow a faster time-saving generation of spheroids and give you reproducible results for a wide range of cell types. Biofloat Plates promotes the formation of rapid, round spheroids with consistent morphology and function. For more related information please check our website facilitate.com.